MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. We work on, buy, Mustang sell, Medic. restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. The 1969 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. And she's for sale, guys. Yes, Jeff has put her up for sale. All right, so here we are on Monday. And it's a big day for us. Uh, we are going to be fixing the steering arm on the on Jeff's 69. We're going to be painting the underside of the 72. Final details on the carport is all complete. So basically the transition has happened. But uh, we'll be moving into the next phase. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, pumped out seven videos last night from the show yesterday look kind of got a couple mustang burnouts and we also um so i got distracted by a car and a trailer we also uh did 1200 videos now we're at 1200 videos holy guacamole. holy guacamole that's a great way to say it rachel so <laughs> rock and roll holy, holy, holy guacamole all right, guys, this is, is this a better picture? Uh, I removed the dust, and the phone's actually naked. There's no hard case on it right now. I realized I'm sitting there and looking at the camera this morning after I just shot all those videos of the car show, and there was just so much dust and crap in that damn case. So, darn case. So, uh, I don't know. I'm waiting it out. I'm going to wait it out. I want to hear what's gonna, what they're going to say about the iPhone 5 after a whole bunch of people own it. I might wait two or three weeks. We'll see. yippee ki -yay. Back to the shop, Monday morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> no, really. All right, so here we are with the 69 part one. The, uh, the steering arm is going to go on, which gives us an opportunity after that is done, because the ball joints are completed, thanks to Nick on Friday. Uh, we are going to get to do a road test, which is always a good time with the car, because we've got a new water pump in her. We've got the new steering arm, we've got the new ball joints, and we've got the new brake lines. So a lot to test today on the 69. So uh, exciting times for Jeff's 69. Again, guys, this is this car's for sale, man. 16 grand. Look at all the work he's put into it. So uh, I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't hesitate on this car. But uh, here goes the uh, steering arm going in via Nick Nordell. All right. So we're putting on we're putting in the uh, steering arm. He's getting everything back in place and putting all the fittings in and he's going to crank them down. He's going to put all these lines back in nice and snug and tight with the pipe wrenches that we have. Craftsman, thank you. And there is those um, new brake lines that are on. They were put on back at the house and uh, we've got no word on what he wants to do about the over spray. You know, we'll probably do a little bit of wipe down ourselves. We can't help ourselves. But uh, the steering arm goes in. It, it got uh, done by Advantage West. It was warranty work. It's a lifetime warranty on that piece. So good news. And uh, for Jeff and for us. And that's all going back in. There's those ball joints. Another uh, view of the new ball joints on uh, the driver's side. All right, I'm going to throw a little tool time into the 69 video. We got new tools when we were at the show. Got two more plates. For the top of the engines, you guys know what those are for. You've seen them used before. Um, got some new sanding uh, wheels. If we want to try these little mini discs and use them on our um, our air uh, tool, I'm, I'm, you know, it's one of those mornings. I'm really tired. Got a spare one of these plugs, just because I wanted to have a spare. That's for the um, the truck and connecting the trailer to it. Got another little air blaster, which is pretty cool. This little wrench is really cool. It actually is like, you know, it's palm, so it's a, it's a real short way to do a 3 8 And when you want to reverse it, what you do is you press it through, and then it reverses. How cool is that? So I, I wanted a small palm 3 8 so we got one to start. These are really neat. This is a, this is a quarter inch, this is a 3 8 and this is a half inch. And these are just small little hand ratchets for a socket in a tight space. So you can go do -do 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 and get it as close and snug as you can get it and then put it away with a, uh, a socket wrench. These are really cool. Mirror, you know, the mirror is for us so we can track down and find, there I am, hello. 
we can track down and find parts that are, if it might have fell, fell down, hopefully not. And these are really nice because what they do is you just turn it just a little bit and it, it takes the connection off the battery. There's a lot of Mustangs that still have bad grounds or wires and if the car sits for two weeks the battery can go dead. So simply if you get the car just sitting, you, you just turn this dial and it disconnects the battery from the entire car. So that is pretty cool. This is what connects to the, um, the battery cable and how it connects to this is like so. So basically that's the setup you put on your battery to um, simply dial it down, dial it out and uh, it disconnects the battery. It's that simple. So that's, we bought about three of these setups. So for future cars, if anybody wants to do that with their Mustang, I recommend it. Got some grinding wheels and this little device is really neat because what it does is it reads bolt patterns. So what you do, this is a five lug bolt pattern and you can basically see, this is a 69 Mustang, you basically take it and you put it on like so and you find the matching pattern. There it is. And you read it and it says four and a half. So that is a four and a half um, lug nut or a bolt pattern for the rim on a 69, four and a half. So I just thought that was a really cool device, three bucks. Bought it, bought it at the uh, at the show yesterday, and all this stuff cost maybe 50 bucks, which is a really great price. So, need spares on these. Oftentimes, I, I leave them on the engines after I pick them off because then I've got a cover, a nice sealed cover on top of the intake, so I know nothing's getting inside the engine. So, I want to have some spares. Six bucks, great price. And that is the latest parts that we're adding at Mustang Medic. Uh, Nick is about to finish up the steering arm, so we're going to be able to put the rims back on and drop her down. And uh, I'm going to get to go do a little test drive on her. Uh, the 72 is coming up next uh, today, and we are undercoating her. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com